asking somebody to pull up their usage details so we can get the most accurate consumption history from the previous 12 months, how would you go about it? That's a great question, Bill. First thing you want to do is log into pge.com. If you don't already have a username and password established, then you just need one of your paper copies of your pg and &E bill on hand. So you have your account information because they will ask you to verify account numbers and things of that sort. So they know it's you. You'll create your account and then you have access now for what you see on the screen to get into your individual pg and &E account. Now, this is for mine personally, and I've already gone solar. So mine will look a little different than a customer's who is exploring going solar. This box here is gonna be different. Theirs is just gonna say energy usage details. It's not gonna say solar and energy details, but this is the box that you're gonna to wanna to click. And that pg &E site is a little slow with loading pages up here, but it'll eventually get there. So then it pulls you here, energy usage details, we want to get to the part where we can actually view them. So we're going to click on this box here, view energy use. It's going to populate this screen where you'll see bars. In fact, this is a yearly view, but I can go to bill view. And it's going to come up here with looking at the ups and downs. And what we're trying to get you to is how you see here with the green energy getting sent to the grid. But what we're going to click on for the usage data is this button here that says green button. So when I click on that, this is the most common mistake and say, oh, these guys are looking for usage from me for the last 12 months. And they want to click on one of these to start a range. What that does is it actually puts it into, call, uh, into what's called interval data. Interval data breaks it down into such minute, small little bits. We would have to compile it together. So what we want you to do is just leave these as the default settings, as you see right here and just click the blue button that says export. Now that's gonna bring up a zip file. And when you open the file, you can do one of two things at this point. You could send this whole zip file to us, which is fine. We are gonna just be using the top uh, file here, which is the electric billing data. We don't need the gas. There's nothing we can do to help you with gas. You can either pull this out and send us just this spreadsheet right here if you want, or you can send us the whole zip file. We're going to set up to make the best use of your time during this consultation.